Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Michael. I'm a second year medical student. And in today's video, I'm gonna be revealing the top 10 DO medical schools based on their board pass rates. So there's gotta be some way for me to be able to rate these schools. And I think the best way to rate these schools is based on their board pass rates because if you guys haven't seen my past few videos, um, I've been talking a lot about second year of medical school whether it's harder than first year, you know, how medical schools are more of a business rather than an educational institution. And in those videos, I talk about how medical school is mainly here to prepare us to do well on our board exams. Um, yes, they do help us become physicians, but in all reality, medical schools are going to receive funding and receive that competitiveness based on how we perform on our board exams. So that's why I think this is going to be the best way to evaluate medical schools and it's going to be based on how their students do on their Comlex 1 exam. So since I'm in my second year of medical school, I'm actually going to start preparing for boards here pretty soon and I kind of wanted to get an overall idea of how different schools rank when it comes down to their board exams. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually attend Kansas City University, which is a very competitive, very highly ranked DO medical school in the nation. Um, I would argue to say that it's one of the top, if not the top, DO medical school in the nation. I know a lot of you guys have your own opinions on which schools are the best, and if you guys haven't seen the video I made about a year ago, based on the three tiers of DO schools, there's really no formal ranking of DO medical schools, unlike MD medical schools. And so I actually attended a conference one time where a bunch of admissions counselors came up with these three tiers of DO schools. And I've gotten so many comments and been criticized about that list but it wasn't my list. Like that list was made by a variety of admissions counselors. So I just thought it was funny because I prefaced that at the very beginning of that video, yet people still thought it was like my own list that I came up with, which is totally not the case. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out, put the link in the description. But let's get into the top DO medical schools based on their board pass rates for the Comlex level one exam. And so I'll post this link that I'm getting this information from in the description. So you guys can go down there, check it out. There's also links to the individual schools where these numbers come from. The numbers aren't like 100% exact, but I think they're close enough to at least give us the top 10 schools. So if your school is not like number one and it's like number five, I don't think there's gonna be a huge difference between like schools five and six or eight and nine. So don't get like completely pissed off if you feel like your school should be ranked higher. Um, like I said, this is not my list. This is something I'm getting from the internet and you guys can definitely do your own research. All right, so let's start with the school that ranked number 10 and keep in mind guys, this is for schools that have already had at least a few classes take the Comlex. I know there's a ton of new DO schools right now, and this video is being made at the end of 2021, so don't get like super mad at me if there's a new school that should be in this list. So just keep that in mind. So school number 10 is gonna be the University of North Texas Health Science Center, and that's in Fort Worth, Texas, College of Osteopathic Medicine, they have an average percent pass rate of 96%, and that includes seven different classes that have taken the Comlex Level 1 at this school. School number nine is Des Moines University College of Osteopathic Medicine. They have a 96.2% average pass rate, and that's including nine different classes that have taken the Comlex. School number eight is Toro College of Osteopathic Medicine in New York. They have a average pass rate of 96.35%, and that's including four different classes. Number seven is Chicago College of Osteopathic Medicine of Midwestern University. Um, I don't know if that's the actual name of that school. I've always heard of it just as like Midwestern, but um, it's the campus that's in Chicago. 
and they have an average pass rate of 96.4%. That's including eight different classes that have taken the complex there. Number six is actually the school that I attend, and I have always thought that my school was number one when it comes down to boards. I don't know if this list is correct. That's always what I've heard. But in this list, I am coming in at number six, which is Kansas City University, and they have an average pass rate of 96.6%, and that's including nine different classes. The school coming in number five is Edward Villa College of Osteopathic Medicine, Virginia campus, and they have an average pass rate of 96.8%, and that's including five different classes. The number four school is Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, Erie campus, so LECOM at the Erie campus. They have a 97% pass rate, and that's including nine different classes that have completed the complex one. All right, so the top three schools. So the school that came in third place for best DO school in the nation is Campbell University School of Osteopathic Medicine. They have an average pass rate of 97.2%, and that's only including four years of classes that have taken the complex. The school that came in second place is Rocky Vista University College of Osteopathic Medicine, and this is gonna be the Colorado campus, and they have an average pass rate of 97.9%, that's including nine classes that have taken the complex. And so the school that came in the number one spot for average pass rate on your complex one exam is Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, Bradenton campus, and they have an average pass rate of 98.1%, and that is averaged over the last nine classes that have taken the complex there. All right, guys, so those are the top 10 schools that perform the best on the complex level one exam. I don't know how much I actually agree with this list, but that's kind of what we're gonna be going with for right now. If I do get updated numbers or an updated list, then I will be sure to make another video but like I said, I'll put the link to this information down in the description so that you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Check out these schools' individual websites. Make sure that these numbers are correct. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you guys want to check out the video I made on the easiest DO schools to get into, I'll put that link down in the description as well. But just a disclaimer, no medical school is easy to get into. Yeah, there are medical schools that will accept a lower MCAT and a lower GPA, and that's kind of what I mean by an easier medical school to get into. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.